nine out of ten gophers kill humans every every year. Dude, gophers can't kill humans. <laughs> First of all, I'm excited. I'm really excited today to finally interview and meet Larry from Go For Stop. So Ralph, I just want to ask, where did you even meet Larry? Man, I met Larry on Instagram, believe it or not. Oh, really? Yeah, we uh, followed each other and um, I was in interested in his golf business. Yeah. So I, we started chatting and then uh, he invited me to go play golf. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we've been, like playing, that. we've been playing golf now for the last year yeah. and hanging out. And I've been really impressed with him and his team and his business. Yeah. And yeah, I just, uh, they do great work. Yeah. They've got great reviews online. Uh -huh. So yeah, I'm really excited to go and uh, interview those guys today. Fact or joke? Man, I gotta, I gotta go to joke. Okay, so I gotta get go for joke for you. So, what do you call a dead gopher? I don't know. What, what do you call a dead gopher? Just fur, because it doesn't go anymore. <laughs> I'm Larry Ewing. I'm Aaron Carell. And our company is Gopher Stop. We offer same day service. So we, when a customer has a problem, we come out right away and we get on it and take care of it. Uh, gophers are typically gone in just a couple of days after we start, and that's because we use state-of-the-art equipment. Our trap system is really solid, and the gophers are just drawn to our traps, and it's uh, we use animal behavior, and we know how to get them involved in uh, coming to the traps quickly, and we get them out. Uh, everything we do is safe for pets, and nobody gets hurt, except the gophers, of course. You know, uh, I've had gophers in my own yard. I've been a homeowner since 1995 in Riverside, and I've had gopher problems that whole time. And over the years, I just learned uh, secret techniques and learned how to, how to get them out of my yard. And uh, an opportunity became available for me to create a business, and I turned it in from a hobby into a, a workable career. Can you guys tell us what are the first signs of gopher damage? You know, it's a great question. One of the things that we see routinely with gophers is they're called pop holes and they're just little little mounds of dirt, not a lot of dirt. And what's happening is the gopher is starting to make their way into the, the yard. And so as soon as they, they get going, they're gonna wanna fill that hole up. And then before you know it, you've got big piles of dirt everywhere. And you might notice your favorite rose bush has disappeared. <laughs> and the reason it disappeared is it's now down in the gopher tunnel being digested. <laughs> and it's a real typical thing and so as soon as you start to see activity, don't wait. Get on the phone and make a phone call. I have a customer that grows uh, award-winning roses in his yard. He's got 50 rose plants and he competes every year at the annual events for roses. And they had a gopher come in and destroy about $10,000 worth of rose bushes before they decided to call somebody. And what they did is they were trying every trick they could think of to get rid of the gopher. The internet said, use bubble gum, use castor oil, use uh, hair and animal things. You know, they, they had all these techniques they were trying and it cost them a fortune by not instead just picking up the phone and making a phone call. So there are other gopher removal businesses. What separates you from other businesses? You know, I would say the simplest of things and it's like I said before, same day service. The main thing we do differently is we actually answer the phone. When someone calls, they don't get a voice machine and they don't get a secretary. They get to talk to us and we take care of the problem. We also like to educate our customers so they know exactly what to expect. We can tell people up front, even over the phone, typically how many gophers they have before we ever show up and we give them a quote over the phone with no sales tactics involved. We just wanna take care of people and solve problems and we do it quickly and efficiently, and that makes us special. Does your company provide any guarantees for its client? Well, the service call, we come out there and we eliminate the gophers uh, in typically just two days. And if by chance another gopher shows up within a month, we're out there and we can the very next day and eliminating that gopher. So that one service call protects you up to a full month. Are you ready to head down to the range and hit a couple golf balls? We are. All right, let's go do it. 
All right. <laughs> Like that. That was a good shot. That one felt good. I'm not mic'd up, but the sun's beating down. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was a good shot. I was surprised that was my first shot of the day. I thought I was going to miss. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Um, yeah. yeah. Every month we do a cartoon, and we have a, got uh, Easter cartoon and Christmas cartoon, and uh, Aaron wanted to contribute a cartoon too, so we did the Gopher Man Cave, and it's a gopher on his lazy boy uh, chair watching TV. He's got a like a B girl poster in the background of a girl of a gopher girl sitting on a carrot, <laughs> and a little and a little uh, card table set up for poker for the boys for later. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just the go for man cave. Hey guys, if you want to learn a little bit more about uh, Larry, Aaron, and Gopher Stop, go on their website. It's gopherstop.biz. Or you can find us online at Yelp and Google. You can read our reviews and learn more about us. Give us a call. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Around the House. I'm your host, Ralph Richardson. And listen, one of the things I'm most excited about for this show is that each week we're getting out there and meeting some of the most amazing companies and experts in the home and garden space to help you keep everything around the house looking amazing. And so if you'd like to go on that journey with us, like and subscribe. Thanks for supporting the show and we'll see you in the next episode. Hey, Oscar, the director of Around the House here. Coming at you with a couple suggestions. Did you know we made a pretty awesome episode on a fire pit shop here in the Inland Empire? High-end, high-end fire pits. Yeah, you like fire. I know you do, don't deny it. So you can just click here if you wanna watch that video. Yeah, that was it, that was my only suggestion. <laughs>